Hey, how's it going? It's Fam Cam. And I am dressed for winter. Welcome back to another episode. We are going to take another flight in Flight Simulator, which is something that I stream on Twitch quite frequently. In fact, you can see some more of this tonight. If you're watching this on the day this comes out, I stream on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 3 p.m. Pacific Time, or 6 p.m. Eastern Time, or 11 p.m. GMT. So today, slash tonight, we are going to be taking a calming, smooth, slow flight. seen it snow where I am once back in 2002 and the last time it snowed before that I believe was sometime in the 1970s um, it's the best place to go to if you want to get snow if you live where I live is to drive to Lake Tahoe there's a few ski resorts here that I absolutely love we are taking off from the South, South Lake Tahoe. It is really tough to take off in a propeller plane because if you don't do it perfectly, it has a mind of its own. It tends to descend into the ground. I learned not to rely so much on the yoke. Yoke, 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 yoke. Which is essentially the uh, steering wheel, quote unquote, of the plane. Instead, I bring the, uh, the trim, aka the nose, down. Or rather, up. It says up, and it's pointing up to bring the plane up, but on the meter on the bottom right of the screen where it says trim the meter is going down for the trim to go up which is very confusing but it goes hand in hand with inverted controls um which when it comes to flying in video games i've become accustomed to inverted controls because of Star Fox 64 and that's how it is in Flight Simulator as well. So we are now well in the air, 72 feet, 7,200 feet in the air, flying above South Lake Tahoe. snow where you live or do you have to drive somewhere to get to snow let me know in the comments down below so these mountains over here right in front of us where the camera's pointing that is heavenly ski resort one of my favorite ski resorts around here there is a California side and a Nevada side of the ski resort. You can go back and forth between states, which is pretty awesome. One of the most famous um, courses in Heavenly is the Gun Barrel. It's located right at the entrance of the ski resort. It is pretty steep and has a lot of bumps. I can't remember uh, what it's called when the, when the 
those like bumps in the snow that you like go around or jump off of. I can't, I can't for the life of me remember what they're called. Um, but my mom went down that when she was 19. She was like one of the best athletes of uh, in my entire family. I couldn't for the life of me do that. I'm mostly a, a green, um, or no, a, a blue square level skier. <laughs> For those who don't ski, at least around here, the, um, the levels of difficulty are measured by colored shapes. Green circle is the easiest, um, blue square is medium, and black diamond is hard. I believe gun barrel is a double black diamond. I could handle some single black diamonds, but not double black diamonds. No way. <laughs> so now we are going up north alongside the east side of Lake Tahoe. I don't have a lot of history um, with the east side of Tahoe. In fact, the only memory I really have of being on the east side of Lake Tahoe is driving from the north side all the way to the south side. <laughs> and that happened, I believe, only once. My roommate and I did Tough Mudder on the north end of Lake Tahoe. Tough Mudder is a, um, is a military-style obstacle course series. It's so much fun, but it is very, very gritty. It takes a ton of guts, a ton of strength, and a ton of camaraderie, too. Gotta be a team player. I tweeted about it recently, comparing Tough Mudder to being a content creator. We're all in this together. We all lift each other up. You can't go it alone. ski resort called North Star. North Star. But it was during the summer, so there was no snow or anything like that. Um, and then after doing Tough Mudder there, we drove around the lake, around the east side to the south side. at the time though this was like seven years ago he and I were roommates in college and then um, and then we uh, lived separately for a while he lived um, up in our college town I lived back in the bay and then um, about a year ago he moved uh, down to the bay and uh, we became roommates again but um, but at the time we did tough mutter it was between those two times I was living with my girlfriend at the time and uh, she was at Tough Mudder spectating us. It is such a lovely day out here. There's only a few places that I can see myself living if I ever leave the bay. And Lake Tahoe is one of them. like we're maybe about halfway between South Lake Tahoe and North Lake Tahoe. And over here is Nevada. Or Nevada, depending on where you're from. People where I come from call it Nevada. Whether you're from Nevada or from California around it, most people around here call it Nevada, but a lot of people in other parts of the country call it Nevada, which makes sense. That is more the correct pronunciation of the word itself. But it's been an ex 
accepted pronunciation around here to be called Nevada. A lot of Nevadans would not appreciate it if uh, you came to Nevada and called it Nevada, from what I heard. I personally don't care, though. I'm not from Nevada. I had an uncle, or he's still my uncle, but uh, one of my uncles used to live in um, in Vegas. And most of, about half of my time, half of my experience with Nevada is in Vegas from when he lived there. I've been to Vegas quite a few times as a kid because of that. Only a few times as an adult. Um, but the other half of my experience with Nevada is here in Tahoe. Most of my time coming to Tahoe is at South Lake Tahoe. Sometimes it stay in the California side. Sometimes it stay in the Nevada side. Um, but one way or another, I'd walk back and forth between the two. On the state line, there are hotels um, that have that both have arcades in the basement, Harrah's and Harvey's. I don't know if they changed um, the names or the branding since then because it's actually been seven years. Seven years since I've been to Tahoe. I think the last time I've been to Tahoe was actually when I did Tough Mudder with my roommate. Um, and uh, at, at least at the time, there were arcades in, uh, in the basement of each of those um, hotels and there's also an underground tunnel between the two so you don't have to cross the street which is really nice and really fun uh, but Harrah's I think had my favorite of the two of the arcades I uh, spent a lot of time in that arcade back in the day arcade is actually behind um, a restaurant that has a lot of little uh, little pools to make it feel like you're in a jungle 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 I always loved restaurants like that that had like a, a jungle feel to them especially the Tonga room in San Francisco um, that restaurant has a lot of uh, a lot of jungle feel to it and there is a pool in the center you don't swim in it or anything like that you don't swim in the pools in the restaurant at um, Harris either but the Tonga room uh, they have a bunch of performances that they put on my, my memories of the Tonga room pretty vague though because I haven't uh, I think I only went there once as an adult and quite a few times as a kid probably because of my dietary restrictions the taco room isn't exactly vegan friendly <laughs> but that's okay I still have fond memories of it now we have arrived at North Lake Tahoe Three of my favorite ski resorts are up here, including North, North Star, where I did Tough Mudder, but also Donner Ski Ranch and Sugar Bowl. Sugar Bowl, Sugar Bowl, Sugar Bowl. If you're a beginning skier and you ski in the Tahoe area, I suggest starting with Donner Ski Ranch. It's cheap, it's small, it's simple. It's like, to me, I, in my opinion, it's like the perfect um, beginner's course for skiing and snowboarding. And right across the street from the entrance of Donner is the entrance of Sugar Bowl. So you could like, you could go there and spend a day in Donner and then once you get the gist of it, spend the next day in Sugar Bowl. a quaint little town somewhere around here called Truckee. 
trucky, 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 very old timey town. Um, I remember the first time I've been to Truckee, at least in conscious memory. Um, the drive up to Tahoe felt so long that <laughs> I fell asleep. And then when I woke up, I asked my mom, where are we? And she said, Truckee. And I said, Kentucky. <laughs> Because I was like so out of it, misheard her, and thought her, she said Kentucky, but also because the drive felt so long that I thought, I legit thought that we drove all the way to, to Kentucky in that amount of time. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> it would be even crazier if, uh, if there was a town called Truckee in Kentucky. I'm not going to look that up right now as I'm recording to verify that. Um, but feel free to look that up if you want. But I highly recommend, um, I highly recommend staying in Truckee and skiing at Donner and Sugar Bowl. Great spots. Just flying over here makes me want to go back so bad. It's been way too long. The last time I skied was a decade ago. A decade ago. Decade. Decade ago. Which means the last couple times I've been up here in Lake Tahoe, I didn't go skiing. I also have a little bit of experience with snowboarding, but I personally am more of a skier. In fact, whenever I snowboard, I just stand on the board sideways. And what I mean is, like, when you're when you're sliding down, your feet are sideways in comparison to the direction you're going. But when I do it, I turn my feet forward with the board being sideways, so that I um, so that I'm essentially skiing on one big ski that is the snowboard. Yeah, I could not ride a snowboard down a slope the proper way to save my life. And that's why I'm more of a skier. Snowboarding is fun though, I will say. So we are about halfway through our flight. Truckee right there. <laughs> it's actually on the northwest side, so Truckee is around here, and I believe that Donner and Sugar Bowl are right around here, judging by the fact that there's a lake here. You can see a lake from uh, Donner's Ski Race, so I believe Donner is like right up here, and Sugar Bowl is right around here, and you continue along, and you get to Truckee, and then you continue more, and you get to North Star. 
seems about right. Anyway, as I was saying, somewhere on the west side, maybe close to the north side, is Squaw Creek. Squaw Creek. another beautiful ski resort there and it also has a lovely hotel where um, a friend of my mom's family uh, went to a couple times with us and my friend I'm just I'm gonna call him Jason not his real name to uh, protect his identity my friend uh, Jason and I, my mom's friend's son, um, we're in a daycare together, and uh, we used to get in trouble for getting in snowball fights uh, whenever we all went out to the snow during that daycare, and and um, went inside. We uh, watched The Lion King and other great movies. at Squawky, uh, Squaw Creek Resort. I'm not sure if that's actually what it's called, but I'm going to call it that. Um, we played shovelboard a lot, but it wasn't the on-the-floor kind of shovelboard. It was the tabletop kind where you use your hand to, to fling the pucks across. And Jason was really, 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 really good at it. There was also a there was also a deck outside the big building. In, inside the big building, there was there was a lobby that had um, that had a big glass window where you can get a view of the deck where there are a couple swimming pools, and then beyond that, there was a bunch of snow. I believe that's where the um, where the ski resort was. Um, and one time we went swimming in the swimming pool winter and it was needless to say so cold I could not stay in there for very long but at least swimming in there kept me warm somewhat Let's do a few minutes of no talking while going basically on autopilot. This is something that I often do in my ASMR streams. While we enjoy the view outside.
kind of sounds like a moderate snowstorm. We are back out of no talking mode as we begin to wrap up, as we are getting close to South Lake Tahoe. such a lovely ride around the lake. So let's begin to make our descent. I'm going to reduce the throttle a bit. So for those of you who come to my streams on a regular basis, you know you know that I suck at landing. <laughs> it's kind of a meme over on my Twitch channel. In fact, sooner or later, I'm going to make a compilation of all of my terrible landings. At least the ones I can salvage because Twitch deletes VODs if, uh, after a while. If this video gets 50 likes, 50 likes, I will, I will make that video. So, interesting, it's not even giving me it's, it's not even telling me where the um, airport is, but it's somewhere around here. That's where we took off, and that's where we're going to land. So let's try and find it. such a gorgeous view. Gorgeous view. So, I think that right there could be the runway, but it's hard to tell from up here. But yeah, it looks like that's it, yeah, because when we took off, that whole, that whole junction right there, junction's not the word, but I can't think right now, <laughs> um, was to the left of us, so yeah, that is the runway. So we are going to land the same way we took off. Let's get rid of the throttle, bring the flaps down as we decrease our speed, and make our way back down to the ground. Slowly but surely. just go straight to the runway because we are too close and too high in the air. So we make our way this way as we decrease our altitude and then we turn around when it's when it's more fitting. Let's say about when we're 8,000 feet in the air or maybe 7,000. Seems like the right time to do it. But then again, there's like mountains around us, so we don't want to crash into those. So maybe about nine 
9,000 or 8,000. We are, we just did below 10k, so maybe it's time to turn around now. Let's just not crash into the hills right there, and we should be fine. Okay. There it is, and we are now at A400. Feet in the air. Come to think of it, I don't know if we will even make it, because we are getting too slow. I better give some throttle. Gotta remember, this is a propeller. <laughs> and if you dip below 70 knots, you are in trouble. So let's keep, let's keep that going. Getting the landing gear out. Don't wanna land with the landing gear up. That'd be a disaster. Let's give it a little bit more throttle. So we don't crash. <sighs> Those watching who uh, come to my Twitch streams are probably at the edge of their seat right now. Because <laughs> they know, oh, I, I gotta, I gotta give the, um, I gotta give it a kick. into one of those houses. I actually did that on stream once, and it was in Victoria, um, which means, jokingly, it was the ASMR nerd's house. It probably wasn't, but that was the joke. All right, so we've reached the runway, so now we're making our way down to land, and that rumbling sound is my controller. Not a smooth landing, but we landed. <laughs> That's actually a good landing for somebody with my landing skills. <laughs> Trust me, the landings I often do on stream are hilariously bad. So be sure to check out my Twitch streams. Link down below in the description, twitch.tv slash famcamp360, and you'll get to see quite a few of those. <laughs> still way down and I don't want to accidentally take off. Okay, let's not crash into that truck. <laughs> we technically did, but I have crash settings off, so... Uh, go a little bit more. Hopefully we don't run these guys over, but oh. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to stop right here and stop in this truck in its tracks. <laughs> but that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this relaxing flight around Lake Tahoe, California slash Nevada. And if you did, make sure to give this a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, click subscribe, ring the bell, and join the fam. I look forward to seeing you.